everybody and welcome to episode 32 of the Fallout 4 Let's Play here on the Hannibal Show. So today we are, well we have actually done everything here uh, with the Captain Ironside. We're just gonna try to find the bloody generator um, and turn it on I guess. Is it in here? Oh, you stay away Mr. Mirlock. Okay, so let's see here. It should be here somewhere, right? Am I just going in circles? Oh, it's up one floor. All right. We can do that. And it's up one more floor. And it's still up some more floors. Is there any loot here? Yardstick? I think we have been here. Generator small. Let's activate that. Ship was quite the mystery. Okay. Run aground on a bank, not a scratch on her. Mr. Navigator, slowly throttle the engines. Run Keep idling those back. engines. All right, we're gonna do a save here before we do that. Let's see here. Hoy, soldier, we're ready for our auxiliary power. All right, here we go. It's the final countdown. Three. Come on. Two. Right. Let's uh one. Blast off. Mr. Navigator, light the engines. Dreaded savings and loan. We shall be moored no longer. Look, there is the Oh yeah, they Oh they're doing it! Oh yeah! Oh gosh! And off they go. I don't know. Yes, yes. Come on, are you? No, please don't crash. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know. Should we go and check on them? I kind of feel oh, like yes. we should. Nothing to see here. Uh, so, <laughs> so that was everything. They got like a quarter mile. Um, I literally don't know how much that is, but uh, I think we should go and check on them uh, if that is even possible. Um, now let's see, what way did they travel? Is that... Oh, there they are. Oh gosh, then we need to cross the bridge. Which can be a little bit of a problem. I wonder if there is a way to get up to them. I hope so. Oh, hello. Preston? Yeah, I know, it's a, two bloody super mutants and they're coming right for us. Oh gosh. Okay, one down. Where is the other one? I literally don't know. He had found him. Come on, pop your head out. Come on, coward. Weren't you supposed to be like a superhuman? Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. The car is gonna blow. Oh, yeah. As a skull, we're gonna grab that, um, and we're gonna also do a quick save here. Oh, we leveled up. Let's uh, let's uh, let's do that. Let's level up. All right, 
Uh, we have a bunch of points in strength. Uh, oh man, how did we do this again? I kind of feel like we should uh, have maybe one point in armor smithing, perhaps? Or gun nuts? Hmm. Oh, we need to be level 17 for that. All right, let's uh, let's 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 do one point in armor thingy. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Except, thank you. So maybe we can make some cool armors now. Uh, let's uh, let's get rid of the radiation as well. Uh, Rad away. Go. Make another one. All right, let's see if we can. See if we can get to them, that would have been cool. Silver Shroud Radio Found. Is that... Uh... Calling all Silver Shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Ken Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. Alright. Oh! All right. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slaying in Scully Square. Hello. Carbox? I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. I most certainly will not. All right. Do you have any idea? I can remember we had a quest with uh, with a Jack Carbot. Well, until we'll see. <laughs> Come on. Let's go meet the boss. All right. Let's see the boss. Hello, Mr. Gold. Yeah. Hello. Uh, what is this place? What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Okay, fair enough. Come on. Well, I I really like this home. You really have a look at them. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. Just have to. All right, let's let's just have a look at the quest. Um, uh, let's see here. No, that's data quest. The Silver Shroud. Is that everything to it? We don't... Hmm, I wish we don't know. He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabin House. I'm Jack Cabin. Oh, hello. Come on. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Yes. Bring the good bourbon. Please, have a seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touched by time? Come on, where are we going? Please. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I'd like to ask. All my new employees. Okay. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Yes! I do. I do! I like, uh... Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, let's try that again. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. 
aliens created civilization? I don't think so. Um, I'm here about the job. I'm really just here about the job. I'm sorry if I'm rattling on. I sometimes forget not everyone finds these things as compelling as I do. I'll leave you to Edward. He'll be your immediate supervisor. But remember, I'd love to chat more about this when matters are not so pressing. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. All right. I literally have no idea what we're doing right now. Um, there is something really strange with the camera. Um, I kind of feel like I'm just floating somewhere. Maybe it was the drink. Maybe it was the bourbon. Maybe it's. Did you not off or what? Uh, yeah. Uh, whack job. Um. That was interesting. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. Hmm. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Oh, I have a ton of questions. Uh, what? What's this package? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Mm. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, all set. Uh, I've been ready. I was all set when I walked in here. Well, then, get going already. All right, fair enough. I have no idea what we just did, but uh, eventually we did something. Um, you know what? When I think about it, should we give cre uh, Mr. Uh, uh, what is his name? Preston the cannon thingy? Maybe we should have a look and see if we have any ammunition at, at all. Yeah, there we go, the broadside. We actually have 24 cannonballs. So, uh, yeah, let's give it to Preston. Hi. We need to focus on taking the castle back. Okay. We need to focus on taking the castle back. Okay. We need to focus okay. on taking the All right, back. whatever you say, mister. Uh, you will get the uh, thing. Should we have a look around here to see if we find anything? Undamaged camera. Look at all the books. This is... This is very nice. I like this place. Um, too bad we can't like. Oh, oh it's you. yes, it's only me. Can we go in here? No, we require a door. Um, uh, uh, we don't require a door. We require a bloody key. I Yes, a mad scientist. I like that. Mad scientists must be the best scientists in the world, right? Uh, we were actually supposed to do something else, though. Uh, we were supposed to go and have a look. What a spectacular noise. Alright, let's turn off the bloody radio. Alright, thank you. Uh, we were supposed to try to find the... The boat. Let's do another save, just in case we stumble across any super mutants that kills us. Um, dang, how should we get... Is it on the highway? I thought they collided with... Okay, that doesn't look like a good spot. I thought they collided with... Oh, there it is. Let's see if we can get up here. Captain Ironside, are you right up there? <laughs> um, let's have a look. Oh, there is an elevator. Oh, nice. 
Oh, uh, it's actually an elevator. What? I think that was a stupid idea, actually. At least we're hidden, right? Uh, let's have a look here. I guess it's all the way at the top. We just need to check out and see if Mr. Ironside is alright. Are we going up or going down? It's hard to tell. What do you think, Preston? Cotsworth? Any... Any inputs? Outputs? Cocktail? Fresh water? I don't know. Alright, are we at the top? Oh, we are! And look at that! Hello, Mr. Ironside! Many meters of course along the Z axis. How are you? I must say... You aren't too chatty. Yes. What a glorious success. True, the mission is not quite complete, but one cannot deny our progress. Uh, that's a success? What was... that was something. That was truly something. But that there is no denying. I wager at this rate we should land in the ocean in one, perhaps... Two more launches. My circuits tremble with excitement. All right. Launch again. You really are going to launch the ship again? With the courage and support of my faithful crew, our eventual triumph is assured. All right. Guess it worked. I guess it all worked out. That it did. In recognition of your courageous role in this, I hereby promote you to the role of Honorary Lieutenant. Ooh. And being that I, well, cannot actually fit below decks, I hereby give you the captain's quarters as well. Three cheers for our new Lieutenant. Hip hip hooray! Hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Come on, Preston, don't be such a dick. Come on, I just got promoted to Lieutenant. I guess it's not that much since uh, you promoted me to General. So, can we just go and loot everything right now? Kind of feels like it. Uh, also, do you have like a, a quest for another launch? Okay, so I guess you're gonna crash into that next time. Uh, hey. I'm sure everyone in the Commonwealth could see your. Maiden voyage. To be certain, and our rockets gave our enemies much to consider. I wager at this rate we should land in the ocean in one, perhaps two more launches. Okay, I think we have heard that. Um, I'm glad to help. I'm glad I could help out. You were instrumental, sir. A veritable godsend. In recognition of your courageous role in this, I hereby promote you to the role of honorary lieutenant. And being that I, well. Okay, uh, so we actually got promoted to lieutenant twice. Let's see what. Oh, come on! You lost your bell, oh, man. Hey, navigator. Still assessing extent of damages. All right, you do that. I'll just go down here and have a little chat with the first mate. Hopefully, I won't take his job anytime soon. Um. First mate? Hey, robot. I think it's offline. Alright. So. So much work to do. I'll have to factor in extra time right. for lack of appendages. Isn't this the captain's quarter? Captain's quarter? Maybe it's the first mate's uh, quarter? Let's have a look on the other side. Can at least have cleaned the area. I mean, why? 
You gave me the key to the... This must be the... Captain's quarter, right? Turbo pump? Let's, uh... Let's activate it. Okay, that's fully operational. Huh? What was it we could press E on? Preston? Oh. Ugh, I don't want to talk to you, mister. Uh, this must definitely be da what was Danny Boy Apple? What is that? I literally don't know. Anyway, um, I must say I'm a little bit disappointed. I hope that we could actually get something out of this. This must be the, the cruise area. I don't think I've actually been in here. Oh, it's a cooking pot. Ooh, creepy monkey. We can't steal anything because Preston and Coltsworth don't like me stealing. Um, yeah, so should we go out then? Go down one more floor. Preston, 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 thank you. I mean, we got the key, but nothing else. I mean, that is a little bit. That is a little bit shady, if you ask me. Um, I was actually hoping we could get another quest, just get him to roll off the the thingy, the the house that they live in now. I guess. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that they would succeed. Oh, well, how do we get out of here without dying? Um, see here. Let's try not to fall down. I, 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 I think we're out of order. Are you kidding me? Didn't we come from this? Preston? Where did we come from? Are you kidding me? Out of order. Okay, so this was like a one-way trip. It can't be. It cannot be. Alright. It might be. Alright. We're definitely trapped now. Alright. Let's uh, load the game and see. Fi finance dr district. Hmm. This is not cool. Maybe we can use the dinghy. Yeah, maybe. I mean, how much rope do they have? Oh gosh, I first thought it was like a man, a big robot or something. Alright, so we have to go back up then, since we can't get out from here. Oh, that's so typical. Silly, even. Probably has something to do with all the dead people in. In the ship here. Um, I'm still a little bit upset that we can't like loot anything from here. I mean, should we activate the ash pile? <laughs> what is wrong? I literally don't know. First mate, how are you doing? Hey, first mate. Uh, it's, it's going completely stiff. All right, let's see if we can use the dinghy. <sighs> oh, oh, well, here is the the elevator. Oh man, there is nothing much left on here. Let's see if the dinghy is uh, still operational. 
I don't think it is, but we'll have a look just for the fun of it. Where's the dinghy? Not here. Alright. Well, let's take the blood pack since you so kindly offered. Alright. Oh, by the way, before we go in, can we use the auto travel here? Because I kind of feel like we should take a little trip down to to uh, Century and just drop off some stuff. Yes, we do really like to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Back to Century and see how... I, I can't even remember how my, my town actually looks. Hmm. Come on, you can do it. Hurry up. Load, 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 load. Wow, is that a basketball they made a mine out of? Oh, it's so good to be home. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? Oh, well, somebody's doing something at least. Sleep. Hmm. Let's head into my office. Hey, what are you doing with the flag? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, and we had a system for this, didn't we? We had like all the weapons goes in here. Weapons. All the weapons we don't use. Um, like pistols, automatically thingy, broadside, calibrated something. Uh, no, we do not want to. Hunters, yeah, miss missile launcher. We we'll probably want to hold on to the missile launcher. Night vision. What does it say? Hardened pipe sniper rifle. Oh man, I'm so horrible names. Um, pulse mines. Okay, that was that. And this is all the clothing. Um. Oh, there we go. Uh, apparel, clean black suit, some stuff, a green rag. Oh man, this is nice. By the way, let's see uh, how was the captain's uh, hat doing? Um, lieutenant's hat. Oh, I think it's just. Okay. Alright. But I think uh, this is it for this episode. I hope you like it. Uh, if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, don't forget to keep smiling!